Welcome back to White Creek Cattle. Today we are going to be working our uh, weaned calves. We are going to be weighing them with the true test uh, scales. We are going to be separating them into what bull we want them to be with or whether or not they're going to go into the beef program. Uh, instead of walking them to where we're going to put them, we're going to work them through the AeroQuip uh, while we give them shots and stuff. And then we're going to separate them back and put them in a cattle trailer so that we can just drive them across uh, several fields into the field we want to put them in. Uh, before we can get started, i got to cut the grass and weed it in here uh, just so we don't get soaking wet from all the rain last night. So before I cut the grass, I'm going to go ahead and hook up the two test scales and test them, make sure they're reading accurately. Uh, this is the S3 model. Uh, we've had it for a couple years. Works great. Charges up, holds the charge. We can use it all day, maybe even a couple days before we need to recharge it. All right, so it's working. Uh, to test it, I can't see it from inside. Uh, we put the scale in a squeeze shoe part so we can work two cows at the same time and 150 is reading correctly about what I weigh I'm going to get a couple scoops of feed, not enough that they'll get full, but enough that they'll think is a lot of food, and I'll move them from the pen they've been in while they were weaned into the holding pen for the corral. Well, the cows don't seem all that hungry. So I'm going to have to take the food trough to them to get them enticed enough to follow me. So I'm going to use this shackle that's here on the mule, put it on the four-wheeler so I can hook the, uh, the uh, wire we use to drag the feed trough. We're in business. These calves range from 6 to 14 months and have been in this holding pen since they were weaned. Today we're going to be moving them into a back pasture uh, to hold them while we go into breeding season. This pen is typically used to house the bulls when we're not uh, actively breeding. So it's time to get these calves moved out so we can get this field cleaned up, spruced up a little bit for the bulls returning. You may have noticed the cow lagging behind the rest of the group. That's number nine. She is our oldest cow, and we have had her longer than every cow that's on the farm at this point. She is having some issues with her back hooves, so while we work these younger calves, we're gonna go ahead and trim her back hooves and hopefully give her a little bit easier time walking around.
These two calves are only about six months old and are not quite ready to get shots and, and be moved in with a bigger herd. So we're gonna go ahead and separate these into a smaller holding pen that you, you can't really see it in this shot, but over to the right, uh, there's a holding pen. So we're gonna go ahead and put them in there while we work the rest of these cows, and then we can put them back in the field that uh, we got them from initially. This is what we call the bud box. It allows us to separate cows into smaller groups or work them individually through the head chute. It's a lot easier to use than just having a big corral that you have to separate cows off of. So this is a close up shot of number nine. You can tell she's got a little age on her. I'm thinking she's gotta be at least 18 years old. She's had a lot of kids and uh, they've all been really great. She is. Very calm tempered cow, so anytime we get new cows on the farm, we put her in the pen with them and she helps calm them down. Cattle have split hooves that continue to grow throughout their lifetime. Uh, older cows uh, may have longer nails that make it uh, painful when they walk, so today we're going to be uh, giving number nine a pedicure. Basically, it's just like trimming your nails, we're going to cut the excess hoof off the front using uh, this big pair of loppers and then uh, she should be able to get around uh, like a much younger cow. This AeroQuip Q-Catch head shoot makes it easy to work on cattle's feet. Also gives you plenty of access to get shots and we've really enjoyed having this thing for the last three years. Today we're going to be giving all the calves Barvac 7, it's a shot, Triangle 10, it's also a shot, Valbazin, which is a oral uh, medicine, and Cydectin, which is uh, something you put on their back. The first shot we're giving today is Barvac 7. It is a clostridial disease protection shot. It also provides protection against tetanus.
The second shot we're giving is triangle 10. It is basically a vaccination for a plethora of uh, bovine issues from, uh, from diarrhea, influenza, respiratory issues, uh, all kinds of stuff. So uh, we like to give this when we're working the cattle. These shots are what we call subcutaneous, which means you just put it into the muscle. You don't have to find a vein, uh, and you can tell that the cows barely even feel it. We also like to give Valbazine when we're working the cows. It is an oral uh, medicine, so basically you use this stick, stick it in the back of their throat so they have to swallow it. Uh, it's used for as a dewormer. Uh, it also controls liver flukes and tapeworms and stomach worms, uh, so it helps them keep gaining weight. using Cydexin today. It is a pour over so you pour it from the haunches which is their shoulders to their tail. 
Uh, this is an anti-parasitic. It helps with, uh, helps prevent lung worms, pole worms, hair worms, other parasites like that. You can certainly tell that different cows have different demeanors. The last cow we worked was kind of rambunctious in the head shoot the whole time. And this cow is just calm and collected. In addition to the shots and the other medications, this calf has got little bitty horns. We're going to go ahead and clip the ends off uh, so this should be safer to work down the road. All right, you need to tell them what we're doing. Go ahead. Well, these calves, these horns right here, they're not connected to the skull. So we're going to go ahead and knock those off and uh, she'll be a lot happier. You want to close that up? Uh... Okay. Yeah, let me see. Let me get two over that. All we're gonna do is just, if we can get right there, just pop that off. Well, it's just sound. There you go. It just fits right over the horn. So we worked all our cows. Now we have to load all the calves up into the bud box so that we can put them directly into the trailer and get them moved. Here comes number nine. She already knows the deal. She's ready to get in the trailer.
We're putting all the calves in a wooded area. It has a little bit of grass, but it's mostly wood. So we're going to go ahead and put a bale of hay in here uh, to give them something to munch on until the grass really starts growing this spring. I can already tell number nine's getting around a little better. It seems like her back hooves aren't bothering her as much. Well, it seems like today went pretty smoothly. We were able to work and separate 11 cows. Uh, we got number nine's feet trimmed. Uh, we got everybody shots and wormer and fly ointment. So now uh, we got them moved into the back so that they can stay out of the way during breeding season. And then we'll deal with them in a few months.